So <clears throat> we're back here at the Sunny Hill Restoration South Track. And looky here, this has all been cut. So this is an indication that maybe, because I brought all my cutting tools and uh, I'll show you how I'm dressed here in just a minute, but I got all the hiking gear on, the bear spray in my pocket, everything. But uh, this is encouraging because this grass was pretty doggone deep the last time I was here. So uh, I'm gonna carry the weed eater with me and I'm gonna carry the cutting tools. I can always lay them up in the woods if, uh, if they've actually done maintenance on the trail. If not, it's community service day for me. But uh, one way or another, we're gonna get the south track in. I'll get the sign right up here on the video. I, now for you people in the villages uh, or central Florida, you just come straight down 42. Uh, until you see there's a blinking light, uh, well, right here uh, with the country store. And, uh, of course, this is, this is the parking lot. So let's get going. So I've made many videos about the Sunny Hill Restoration Area because it is massive. But uh, this is the southern trick. And this is where we have never hiked before because every time I got in right into this area here, it was either too wet or just too uh, too many plants or I wasn't dressed for the occasion. Um, but anyway, uh, you all know about the Sunny Hill. You can read that on your own. I've read it in many other videos. Um, you know, when you get in here, you know, you're basically hiking across a cow pasture. <laughs> you see the moon pies. And uh, and then the trail, I see the, the white mark on the tree. The trail, there's a, there's a cow right there, see? And uh, by the way, I talked to a, a local, which I uh, didn't know about, well, didn't know anything about this trail. I uh, just lives down the road at just a little ways. Um, he did say those, uh, the mama cows can get protective of their calves. Uh, so, you know, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't want to challenge one of those beasties. Uh, he, he says, because if you Google it online or, or duck, duck, go it, uh, you can get, uh, they can kill you. Let's just put it that way. So uh, I'll be staying well away from that cow now the trail if you look there's a mark down there on that tree um, and then you can hike through the woods and since it is a sunny day I am gonna hike through the woods the alternative is you can just hike along this road and go up this way I got a long ways to go with the weed eater in hand let's get going all right <clears throat> so I wanted to get the first part of the trail we've c covered this on previous videos but uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, like I said, I'm just cutting through here. There's the road right over there that I was telling you about. And I, uh, you know, I was real encouraged the first time I came because I came through here and I thought, wow, this is going to be a great hike, you know, not knowing that as you get well up that road, uh, it cuts back into the forest. Uh, and that's where we got uh, stymied. It was too wet and nasty and I wasn't dressed for the occasion today. I've got the hiking pants on. I've got the the hiking shoes on I got the bear spray in the pocket we are ready for everything but uh, you can see this is uh, the first part of the trail here is, is very quite beautiful you know um, I, I'll cut the video off there and then uh, we'll get a selfie of me uh, carrying the weed eater and all of my cutting supplies I even have the water saw in case I come into a, a tree that I have to cut my way through like I did in the um, uh, Silver Springs uh, portion of the Florida Trail because we cut our way through there. If you if you go way back in my videos, you'll you'll see me working in there for I think it took me about a month to get through that trail. Uh, and boy, the last time I visited it, uh, it was unhikeable again and for all my hard work. But uh, that's Florida; things grow pretty quickly here. All right, let's wait for a selfie on the road. Okay, so we've been here before, but you basically hike down that road right there and you come to this and I'm surprised this gate was open and looked The grass has been cut So I may just uh, be hiking today rather than uh, but I'll show you how I'm equipped You know, I brought the uh, boy. I tell you that thing gets heavy after a while I brought the weed eater because I thought I was gonna have to cut my way through and let me get a selfie real quick so you can see uh, how I'm equipped, you know, I've got all of the tools. I will keep the backpack on. I maybe just stow the uh, weed eater up in the woods uh, where I can find it. As you can see, there's a 
hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people here. Uh, it's, uh, you know, they're everywhere. Like, uh, the uh, Omnicron's gonna blow in off of this. Oh, by the way, this is uh, your marker on the trail as you hike up to, these are the only two trees in this cow pasture once you come up that road. So this is where you know that you make your turn. And of course, this is the gate that, that I'm gonna go through. But let's get going. I, I don't know, this just could be a, uh, just a hiking day, which, uh, I mean, that's cool, you know. Uh, I, I, I did want to do a little community service and give back to the community, but it looks like they gave to me. So let's get going. So I stashed the uh, weed eater in the woods. I'll pick it up on my way out, but you can see this has been cut which means that maybe the whole trail's been cut. I may have to hike back and get that weed eater. I mean, I, I planned on a whole day out here. So we've got plenty of uh, daylight. Uh, we can be here hours and hours and hours uh, before I have to get back to the car. But uh, trail's looking pretty good. So maybe, uh, maybe this section of the uh, Sunny Hill Restoration Area, well, you can see they did a controlled burn here. So they've, uh, they've been working on this. So I don't know what to tell you. I, last time I was here, this this was grass all the way up to my knees or even higher. So, uh, well, you can see what it looks like on the, on the side there. That's kind of what it looked like last time I was here. Now, it says keep gate closed to, to keep the cattle in, but there's all kinds of moon pies in here. <laughs> so, so I don't know if there's any cattle in here or not, but it uh, looks like we're just going to get a hike in today. But this is the first part of the trail. Um, when you round this corner up here, that's where we had to stop before because it was just too wet. But let's uh, let's wait till we get there and see what it looks like. Well, you can see that even though we've had a lot of dry weather, you can still get muddy in here. Um, we're coming up on the bend where as, as far as we got before. Um, but like I said, I, I don't think I'm going to have to do anything today. I mean, I don't know. I would, I've got all my cutting tools still on my back, so if I do have to cut through something because it was unhikeable before well let's see what we got when we round this corner so this is as far as we made it on a previous video and this was a muddy mess as you can see it's completely dry now and then uh, when I rounded this corner up here it was unpassable because it, it, it everything had overgrown the trail but uh, I'm pretty confident that uh, They've been in here, so now we're in virgin territory. We haven't seen uh, this portion of the trail in any previous video. And, uh, uh, you know, it's uh, it's well, well cut now, as long as you haven't had a rainstorm before you come here. Because I can imagine this could become a muddy mess uh, pretty quick. But look, look here, see how they've cut all this? That was, that was unpassable before, so. Anyway, I guess uh, I'm just going to be hiking today, which is fine with me. Uh, boy, I tell you, I, I'm I'm absolutely shocked. You know, I, I just uh, if it if if you ever find out who who maintains these trails, I guess it's Marion County here in Florida. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I I can't believe they got back here and and, and got all this done because this was this this would be one hell of a lot of work. That's what I was expecting today, rather than just a hike. But, uh, well, about the hike, I mean, it's uh, this is actually quite beautiful. Um, so, hey, check this tree out. Look at that sound we got. That's cool looking, in. Wow. There's another one right there. But, uh, anyway, so let's, uh, let's just keep on going. But uh, you can see what I see. And uh, I guess I, you know... I probably should have dropped the backpack with all the cutting tools in it, but I just didn't know what to expect. Well, that's, you know, it's always good to have a little weight on your back to, to get you a little more uh, exercise. I mean, you know, how do you want to get your exercise? Do you want to be in a gym around a bunch of people, or, or would you rather come out here and see this, you know? I think I'd rather be here. Now, this is tough hiking. You know, you can see the trail is, uh, it's a horse trail for sure, um, but, uh, but at least you're back here in the forest, and uh, we'll just see how it does. Let's keep on going. So something got eaten. <laughs> Look at those feathers, man. Holy moly. I guess that poor bird uh, was a meal for something back here. So uh, 
like I said, very, very horsey. Uh, not an easy hike, but it is quite beautiful. Um, so I, I'm, if we see a transition, I'll, I'll get some more video, but uh, I had to show you the bird feathers on the ground there. So there is some sort of predator back here. Uh, that's why I got the bear spray in my pocket. But uh, we'll see. Uh, I just, uh, you can see all the people, hundreds and hundreds of people here. You know, let's look back at where I've come from. So, uh, so we'll keep going. Uh, I don't know. I don't mind the hike. Uh, you know, even these horsey trails. I mean, I, I understand they're not for everybody, but uh, I got the hikers on, and it's good. It's good for your ankles, you know, because uh, you know, of course you don't want to twist your ankle back here. Nobody'd find me. But at least I do have the, the cell phone with me. So, um, so let's keep on going. Now there are some some wet areas. See, once again, if you had rain, see that puddle over there. This would be a muddy mess, you know. So you're gonna have to wait till you get, if you want to try this trail, you're gonna have to wait till you get some dry weather, like I did. Uh, I figured this was a, be a good time to come back here and attempt this trail again. Uh, but you can see, see, look at that. That's a that's tough to hike through, you know. And you, that's what you got on this trail. It's a horse trail for sure. But uh, this will finish just about. Well, I mean, we still got some more hiking to do in the Sunny Hill Restoration Area, but. At some point, I got to get back on the Florida Trail. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do that section from uh, 314 up to 40. Uh, I'm gonna attempt it anyway. Every time I've attempted, it's been underwater. Uh, so you know, we've had so much dry weather. But I, of course, I I got the divorce papers coming on Monday, so that'll be uh, that'll be it for that. So look, well, we're coming up on the gate here. So. Got a got a on a prop plane flying over, but uh, you can see it's a it's a pretty decent trail. I mean, you know, sections of it. Look at this. I mean, see, this is easy hiking right here, even though back there it was just a complete horse trail. All right, and of course we're going through the fence, and there's a, I see the cattle out there on the other side of the fence. So, uh, by the way, to operate this fence, see that uh, bar on the top of the gate. You just push it to the left, and then you can open the gate. And then when you get on the other side, push it back to the right to, to shut the gate. So let's, uh, well, I guess I'm not going, maybe I'm not going through the gate. I guess, I, well, I don't know if this used to be a trail. Doesn't look hikeable to me. I don't know. Yeah, I think the trail just goes on through the gate because you got, well, we're just going to have to do some exploring because it looks like this could be a trail right here. But it's very narrow. No, I don't think so. Not unless you want to cut your way through that. So okay, let's uh, let's just go through the gate and keep on going. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going. Now I don't know if I'm on the trail or not, but the bar is not working. They they're going to have to fix this gate. And what I had to do was just take this chain loose, you know, and then bring it out and then loop it back and hook it right in in right there because I don't want to let the cattle out. I, I hope I'm on the trail. I have no idea. You can see the cattle out in the field. So let's see. Uh, let's see if we're if, if we're moving along. It looks like a trail to me. I don't know. Um, so this could be a real short hike if I can't figure out where the trail's going. Uh, that could have been the trail. Well, this looks like a trail. Yeah, I think I'm still on the trail. Yeah, you see the cow up there. Now, from what I've read, don't get near them. So I'm going to have to work my way around. Well, he's pooping right now. I'm going to have to work my way around him somehow. Yeah, there's a marker on the tree. So, yeah, I'm still on the trail. All right, he's looking at me. I'm going to have to swing out into the field and get around him here. So the whole herd of cattle is coming through. So I'm going to swing out into that field right there. You can see him right here. Uh, and then get back on the trail. At least that marker, thank God for the marker on the tree. I would not have even known that I was still on the trail. But uh, they're moving on along. I'll just swing out to, I don't see any more. Okay, then, well, here's here's another one coming. I gotta wait till they get by. I'm not gonna, they're a lot bigger than I am. That's for doggone sure. Oh, he's just looking at me. All right, I'm gonna keep on going here since they kind of moved on. All right, so, uh, so you know, it's a, it's kind of a weird hike, you know? I mean, it's, uh, you got cattle here and uh, gates to get through and, you know, all kinds of th things, but at least the trees are marked, thank goodness. All right, let's keep on going. See, this is what I was talking about. Those look like calves to me. So, 
you don't want to get anywhere near them and there's a mark on the tree so what I'm going to do is swing out into this field and give them a wide berth because you don't know if mama cow's going to be around to uh to defend them but uh you can kind of see what I'm seeing boy I tell you this that a huge huge area holy moly so uh I don't know I can't uh have all the hikes I've done not sure I recommend this one <laughs> you know you got cattle and uh uh, I mean, for horses, I imagine it's great because I, I, I assume that uh, cows are not going to attack a horse, you know, I mean, that's uh, for sure, but uh, I'm not going to risk them getting near me. Um, so anyway, this, uh, I got to work around them and try to get back on the trail here in just a second. So, but it's, um, I mean, it's okay if you wanted to come here with somebody and uh, just spend a day like I'm doing, you know, I, I, I mean, I can't really recommend it, but uh and see if I can get back on the trail now. All right. See, this is this is always great, you know. Thank God they got these trees marked. So it indicates I'm back on the, the trail and look, it's going through another gate over here. Um, so you, you only had to be with the cows for a brief period of time, it looks like. Uh, of course, I gotta come back through here, I believe. I don't know. Cause on the sign, it looked like a loop of some sort. So let's uh, let's keep on going. I'll get through this gate and then we'll be, be back in the woods, it looks like, with no cattle. All right. I know I'm making too much video, but at least this gate was on a spring. So all you had to do was open it. You didn't have to chain it back. But you can see we're diving back into the woods. Um, so this is this is getting uh, getting better, you know. You're not no longer in a cow pasture, but you can see how the ground's all tore up. That could be wild pigs right there. Um, I don't know. But, uh, and boy, look at this. It's, uh, well, they've been back here. Uh, but you can see, uh, certainly not going to mountain bike this trail. <laughs> not like the uh, other parts of the Sunny Hill Restoration Area. But uh, let's keep on going. And like I said, tough hiking. I, I can't recommend this hike. Um, unless you just want an adventure of some sort, you know, with cattle and everything else. But, uh, it's uh it's my day. This is what I had planned and at least at least it's well marked by the trees. And uh it is beautiful though. I mean I love being back here in the Florida forest. Um I don't know if you know what predator ate that bird. So once again wild pigs it looks like. So you could uh you could have an encounter. That's why the bear sprays in my pocket. Alright, let's keep on going. So I thought I'd get just one more clip here. Uh I'm not sure the scenery is going to change from this point forward, but uh, I, uh, what I'm seeing is I am the only fool <laughs> that's ever, ever hiked this trail because there's not a single footprint on here. I mean, horses, yeah, and wild boars or whatever's digging up the ground. Uh, so, uh, you know, or wild pigs or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, tough hike. Uh, it's, uh, but yeah, yeah, I don't think uh, if you do decide to come here, I, you're not going to see any people. <laughs> I mean, uh, maybe a horse. You might see a horse. I don't know. But uh, even that probably you wouldn't see. Of course, I'm, I know I won't see one today. But yeah, there's not a single person that's been back here other than whoever did the maintenance on the trail. Um, and, you know, it, it, it fluctuates. I mean, like right here, this is easy hiking, you know, and uh, kind of nice. Uh, I, I would still recommend, I would definitely recommend having hikers and hiking pants to do this trail. Uh, I wasn't sure if I would need them, uh, and that's why I wore them anyway. So, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, you could do it in shorts if you wanted to, but I, I, I but you got to have the hikers for the ankle. I mean, they don't give me much ankle support, but uh, you do hike through some 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 uh, rough areas here. Uh, it's, it's slow going, that's for sure. But uh, it's uh, it's still pretty cool, you know. I. I like the other portions of Sunny Hill better. Uh, we'll get back on the, the bike trail. Uh, I'm gonna. I think the next video. I like to always like to promote my next videos. Uh, we'll, we'll get back on the. Um, well, I call it the Invernus bike trail, but it's uh, the Wicklacoochee, or Withlacoochee uh, uh, state uh, trail there. Um, and we'll get another bike ride on that. Well, good. We did get a change in scenery here, so I'm glad I had the uh, the video going. Uh, but uh, you know, it's uh, 
Uh, now this is this is a good hike right here. Maybe we've gotten through all of the uh, tough parts, but I tell you, it was a long ways getting here. That's for sure. You know, it's. Uh, I think this is going to be a whole day getting back to the uh, the weed eater there. Just hope it's still there. I think I hit it pretty good. But I tell you what, I I can't imagine having to cut my way through here. I, that would have taken days and days and days. So I'm glad that they have done the trail maintenance and. Uh, like I said, this is a good hike right here. I'm enjoying this. All right. Boy, I tell you, I'm taking way too much video, but you know, you guys, you got to give uh, every trail a chance. It's transitioned into a nice hike right now. And uh, I'm enjoying this. I mean, you can still see you got some spots you got to hike through this, some more mud, get through that and or around it. Like I said, you wouldn't want to be here after a rain, rainy day. Uh, but uh, it's uh, it's pretty good right now. Still still some treacherous footing, um, but uh, it's uh, quite beautiful. Well, I always say it in every dig on video: the hike you get is not the hike you expect. I am way the hell <laughs> back in here. I mean, this is, I don't know. I hope the trail's going to loop back around. I'm going may have to turn around at some point and just hike back. Uh, but it looked on the sign like a loop of some sort. But uh, I've been hiking quite some time, and uh, you know I don't know. I'm I'm a good hour or two hours back in here, and uh, it just seems like I keep going deeper and deeper and deeper into the forest. So uh, we may not get the whole trail in, but uh, I'm going to keep going. I got plenty of sunlight, uh, but it's going to be a long a long hike back. I can guarantee that. Uh, if it don't loop, I'm, I really will have to turn back at some point. Uh, plus. Um, probably don't want to be an idiot like me and come here by yourself i mean who knows uh, what's back here in these woods probably bears well we saw wild boars for sure maybe some wild pigs uh you know definitely weapon up uh with some with something um you know but of course the horses come through here so usually uh that kind of you know that kind of keeps the beasties off the trail um so um but uh yeah i mean that's uh you're, <laughs> you're you're deep 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 in the forest here you know I'll, as i hike along and you know just get a little bit of video i always have to get political on these video videos a little bit uh, so i'm at uh the grocery store and uh a woman's you know she's behind the cash register and she's got that face diaper on you know and uh so I just uh, made an offhand comment. I said, you know, I said, so they're still making you wear them face diapers, huh? And uh, <laughs> she goes, I take offense to that. I said, well, you must be a Democrat. <laughs> and she didn't say anything. I said, well, you do live in a free state. I said, at least you got that going for you. So you can see, look here. See what I'm talking about? If you had rain, uh, I got to get around this somehow. Uh, if you had rain, you couldn't hike this trail. No way, no how. All right, let's uh, let's get around this without getting too muddy. You know what? I I'm just going to turn back at this point. I'm, I'm already a muddy mess, and look at this. You know, the channel's all about hiking. I just uh, I can't. You know, I'm way way back in here, and uh, I would rather uh, get back to the car, and then we'll do another section of Sunny Hill if uh, if I have the daylight left. But I don't see any reason to fight my way through stuff like this. You know, I, I'm already a muddy mess, like I said. All right, so that's it for the south track at the Sunny Hill Restoration Area. It's a, it's a horse trail for sure. You know, uh, it's not a hiking, not a place to go hiking unless you, you want a huge adventure and you got some some boots on. And probably, uh, I got to get back through that mud puddle up here that I got all muddy with my shoe went down I almost had some water in my shoe which is not good for hiking luckily I got the hiking socks on so um, pe peace out stay free let's uh let's do the mantra as, uh, as we finish up this this hike uh, for this portion of the trail for today uh, and uh, so let's do it up freedom oh, freedom good to live in the free Republican state where we have no mask mandates, no jab requirements, no vaccine mandates, and we are free to live and do as we please here in Florida with a booming economy, 
under the great leadership of our Governor DeSantis. So if you did come here, you know, I tried to hike through that. That's what I went wrong. You can get around it by just going up into the woods on either side. It's not that bad. Although I did run into a spider web, but uh, anyway, we're heading back, so kind of disappointed. I, I thought this would be a, well, it was a, it was a cool hike, you know, I'm not complaining. I, I, hopefully we'll get some more hiking in today. This is a hiking day. That's what if you didn't know, you know, what I do with life, um, I split up my days, you know. Yesterday I did laundry and uh, worked around the house, vacuum carpets and, you know, just spent the whole day inside the house, even though it was a beautiful day. I don't know what that was. A lizard probably. But uh, so, uh, then, you know, the next day you got to get your exercise. Uh, and then, of course, you know, you got to be social at some point. You know, I might uh, I might swing by the VFW and uh, hang out with some people for a bit uh, later today if I if it doesn't get too long in the in the tooth uh, as far as time wise. You know, um, I missed I uh, missed out last night. I wanted to karaoke, but I I was so busy uh, washing my doing all my laundry and you know, changing sheets and all of that stuff that uh, just never I just couldn't make it. <laughs> All right, that's it. Peace out. Stay free. So I realized I didn't uh, didn't summarize the hike. You know, you might uh, you might give it a try after uh, more of the dry season when things dry out. Um, I tell you, it is uh, sections of it were quite beautiful. I mean, like right right here, and and actually a nice hike in in some parts. But it's a uh, it's mainly a horse trail and. Uh, Anyway, I I wouldn't mind coming back. I mean, I I've hiked a long ways, you know, so I've got my exercise for the day. I mean, if, if that's what your your hiking's all about is just getting some exercise, which is for me that's uh, that's a big portion of why I hike is to get my exercise, you know. Plus, I enjoy being back in the forest, uh, risking life and limb, running into spiders, <laughs> maybe an occasional bear, seeing the deer, of course the birds. Uh, if I can get get any. No, uh, no birds on this trail for sure. I didn't see a, see a one. Um, so anyway, that's it for this video. I keep saying that, but I, I, I had to summarize it. Uh, but, and uh, I always try to do that on my videos, summarize the hike. Uh, so um, what I recommend doing it, well, if you just want a day of exercise, come to a different place, uh, why not, right? Okay, that's it. So I didn't get this on the way out. That's pretty cool. Looks like they uh, did a controlled burn there. Huh. But that, that the mound of dirt and just kind of hike over it right here. So I'm just past the cows. So, all right, just wanted to get this uh, on the video. Well, I always like to promote future hikes. This is service route 314. And the only way I know to find the Florida Trail coming is coming from this direction here. And you can see those orange marks on the on the pole because if you're coming from that direction, well, there's a little sign right here. I, I didn't see it. I just drove right past it. Huh. But uh, I'm going to go a ways up in here. This could possibly be a future hike. And I... Uh, We've tried to do this in the past, and it was just too wet. And uh, I would just want to see what if they've done any maintenance on this. Because uh, no way I could cut my th way through this. Um, you know, you can see the big limb down there, so it's not looking good at this point. But uh, let's just go up in here and look at that. Yeah, I'm, I don't think they've been here. So I don't think we're going to be able to do this trail. <clears throat> But uh, at least we'll go up a ways in here and take a quick look. Yeah, look at that. Yep. I, oh, man. Yeah, if this looks like this, you know, then that means that uh, it, it's just going to get worse and worse as you go along. So anyway, so much for the... I mean, I guess, you know, if I really outfitted myself, I threw on some, some bug netting and everything else, you could, you could get through this. The question is, is that area wet? And that's a ways on up. So, but I mean, you know, I don't know how we're ever going to get the whole Florida Trail in. It's uh, it's up to the maintenance crews. Because, see, I got nothing to, to cut this stuff with, you know, nor would I want to try to cut my way through all of this. 
yeah, look at that. I mean, you know, so this was, this would be brutal just to, I mean, luckily I got the hiking pants on, but, um, and this time of the year, I don't think I'm getting wood ticks and chiggers and fleas and all of that stuff, uh, uh, you know, but they'd have to get me through the, the hiking pants here. But yeah, look at this. Yeah, there's no, no maintenance here. Okay, so we, uh, I just don't want to rough it through here. Just to, until the trail crews come in, uh, I got to find out who they are. And, uh, and so I can get on a, at least a mailing list so that I know when they, they come in. Hell, I might, I probably should start volunteering to help them, you know, because if you come in here, I'm sure they've got the equipment, obviously, because they, they've cut it in, uh, Anyway, that's it for, for this. I just went through a cobweb. Yeah, this would be a tough hike. And I just, uh, I'd love to get up to where to see if that water, the trail's underwater. Maybe that's why they're just, you know, I'd be maintaining it, you know, and nobody wants to hike it because you get to that section where it's underwater, you know. Um, maybe later in the year, we'll double check it again. All right, peace out, stay free. Well, you know what? <clears throat> I got the weed eater in the car. Why not do a little bit of work? Uh, remember us cutting our way through this trail? But look at what it looks like now. <laughs> I don't know why they don't maintain uh, this section of the Florida Trail. I don't know, I'm pretty beat up after uh, Sunny Hill. I just thought I'd check this out because if that other section hadn't been cut. Yeah, the problem is those burrs, they get all over you, you know, and I understand why they don't want to maintain this. But, um, nah, I'm just going to go on home and get a shower and watch TV. Oh, well, but this is the uh, Silver Spring section of the Florida Trail that we cut our way through. Boy, that took a long time to hike this portion of the Florida Trail. So I'm not, it's not looking good to get up into the Ocala National Forest or and maybe I'll find out when those trail crews are going to cut through because, I, you know, I could knock out that portion of the Florida Trail and actually get some work in and, you know, give back to the community a little bit. So, uh, anyway, this is, uh, once again, 314. Uh, this is where the trail comes out of Silver Springs. And then, of course, down here, we did a lot of videos on that, and down there is where it goes in. Um, that's just disappointing. All right. Peace out.